Okay, Scorpio, as I told the other signs, we're reading in a different area of the house and um, today and hopefully you can hear me and everything's fine. I know the lighting's a little different, but it doesn't seem to be uh, too negative, you know? I don't think that, you know, I don't even have a, a much of a glare, so it's good. Anyway, um, not loving this eclipse energy. I'm feeling a little off. I think most people are. I know most people I know are, so... Let's see what's going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, oh, I didn't mean to grab this deck, but since I did, I'm just going to take it. It looks like as of now, you will be taking a trip. You're stuck up in your own head. There will be some balance to be found after a rejection. You could have made this rejection. doesn't mean you're being rejected. It could be a business offer or a romantic situation. This trip is going to take you to quite a distance. This is not going to be a local trip. Please be careful with yourself right now. It's saying that you might be wearing yourself out. You're wearing yourself out for very little in return. There will be some sort of a karmic justice with a potential fire sign if not a fire sign this will be somebody with fire like qualities very like charming charismatic um a little adhd uh, and with that will come a new adventure for you scorpio yep the color yellow will be relevant to you whether it's a yellow stone or a yellow fabric Somebody might be ending a, yeah, somebody's ending a romantic situation with this change. Um, it looks like it no longer worked for you. You want to see growth. You want to see commitment. You want to see um, somebody with more, you know, uh, drive or, or ambition or even just give more to you emotionally. You may have even met somebody else already. While you were out and about, they could be younger than you. This person. This person may have been in some sort of business where they made money and lost it. I'm not sure about that. The number eight is going to be relevant to you. The number eight is money, 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 money. decisions that you will not be making so i don't know this person could have some sort of addiction or still be romantically involved with somebody else yeah i don't see any growth with it right now scorpio you're looking to find some sort of <clears throat> stability you're looking to find some sort of direction the last thing you need is you know some young disaster to come in and like mess that up for you we do have the world so i do feel like again you have change coming change is also financial for you okay hold on to your money put it away save it for a rainy day because um investing would be the best thing you can do and i do see you you're literally in you are investing in something because we have the magician and the six of pentacles which is telling me like you're taking some and putting it away for something significant. And um, whether that's like, you know, an investment or, you know, holding onto it, like just in an account, I think that that's the best thing you could be doing right now. Yeah, I see you being single and I think also is very beneficial to you right now. By spring, be careful. Somebody you're very close to could be a family member of, or uh, or a close friend or something of that nature um, is going to kind of shut you out. They're dealing with something, some like internal struggles, okay? They could even be dealing with some financial struggles as well. 
I do see you coming out of pocket for for those of you that are in your own business or do like to invest or you're in part of the stock market or something of those. I do see you putting in a large amount and only getting quite a little bit in return. Um, so be careful with that. Anything like that, anything where it's a large amount of money, um, I don't think the return is going to be quite as good. Let me grab another deck, okay? This this desk doesn't have as much space, so I kind of have to be a little weird about it today. What else do you want Scorpio to know? Scorpio, again, finding balance. Some sort of trip that's going to initiate something here. Yeah, I do think that you might lose some money in an investment. Please be careful about that. And and if you're not into investing, I don't know that it would even be <clears throat> relevant to you or it could just be emotional investment, okay? But be careful with that. Um, somebody's father is ill or will be ill. Um... If not, no, I, it really feels like a father. So that's a personal thing for somebody out there. This is a bit, bit little, like this one, this is a very personal kind of thing. Somebody's father is, um, like I said, ill and they might be financially struggling as well, okay? Just to let you know, it looks like you don't have a good relationship with this person, um, and they would like to see you help out. That is for somebody out there. I don't know which one of you needed to hear that, but that was very personal. I might switch decks now, actually, because I feel like I'm just gonna give you, yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna give you a personal read. Some Scorpio out there right now is, I'm channeling by accident. Okay. Slow growth here. Slow growth. Scorpio, it looks like you don't really want to invest in a relationship right now. You've gone through enough of it, and, and you're, it's time for you just to focus on you. That's okay. People find you to be have a really sharp tongue right now. Um, there is some sort of imbalance in your life, though. It's like you're trying to you're trying to find balance, but this there is an imbalance here. I don't. I can't even see if it's like you're just working so hard at your goals that you're forgetting to take care of yourself or if it's like between you know helping your family and helping yourself you know something like that um it's talking about this heartbreak could have been a Sagittarius. There uh, was a situation where somebody was um, giving more to somebody else than you, and it you it, there was this feeling of rejection, and it's gonna come back up this winter. You're gonna feel those feelings all over again. You're gonna go through the motions all over again. Um, there's the moon. What what is Scorpio not seeing? What is Scorpio not seeing? Somebody coming in. Somebody coming in with an apology. They want to take the burden off your back. They want to, maybe, maybe Scorpio, what happens is this winter you remember this person and, and you start feeling like shitty again. And this person may pop back up and just be like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry for what I did to you. Um, and I feel like it, I feel like it would help you. 
I do. I feel like it would be the closure that you need at the moment. I don't think you guys would rec yeah. You wouldn't reconcile or anything like that, but it would just be like a little bit of stress off your back, a little bit of, you know, you know, um, so you don't have so much like angst about this person. Be careful because they may want to come back in. I don't see you doing it, but they might want to. You might even consider it, but I don't think you will. No, you won't. You won't. Yeah. That person's going to stay out of your life. You're fine. It looks like you're out socializing by then anyway. But it is what you needed. You know, you needed to hear this person come to like at least come back into your life for some sort of um, communication to make you feel better. Okay, um, I'm gonna actually draw you guys like three more cards and then I'm gonna end it. Three more cards for Scorpio, please. Three more cards for Scorpio. It keeps saying balance over and over again, but it's also saying Sagittarius. So a lot of you are probably dealing with the Sagittarius. Once you find your balance, Scorpio, that's your Ten of Pentacles, okay? Once you figure out where to di direct that energy, that isn't just going to soul suck you. You know, can't always be about other people. You have to kind of take time for yourself, but it also can't always be about you either. You need to get out and, and you know, go for a run or go see friends or something of that nature. Um... Some of you are not going to make the move, the actual like physical move that you thought you were going to. Um, that'll be a relief, trust me. Um, for some of you, um, for some of you, well, a lot of you, you know, I think I see you turning down a lot of options. And I don't mean options in work. I'm talking about like uh, relationship options. I think that, you know, whatever happened to you before, you're just not ready to, you know, meet somebody new. You're not, even if you think you are, you're not really ready to meet somebody new. You know, it doesn't even look like you think you are, but for those of you that might be, you know, on, on the prowl, I don't see anybody coming in worthwhile as of yet, okay? So please keep that in mind. It looks like you're going through a lot of heartache. What is this going on here? Okay. Anyway, I hope this helps. 